A nice feature of my course is the ability to preview and submit to a Dropbox as a student without having to change the start or end dates of the Dropbox folders. You can also view the submission to make sure that everything works as expected, but you can't grade it. To preview the quizzes or the Dropboxes, click on the Submission Review tab, click Dropboxes. Click on the More Actions button, click Preview. Make sure the Bypass Any Restrictions on Submitting to the Folders is checked. This allows you to bypass any future start dates or end dates. So this is already checked by default and you'll see, for example, here's some future dates. If I uncheck this, you'll notice that what will happen is that I can no longer click on that when it, when it was supposed to open. So I'll make sure that that's clicked. Click on the name of the, fold, the, the Dropbox folder. Go ahead and click Add a File. Go ahead and click Upload. Navigate on your computer to find a, a file. Click Open. Click Add. Now before you click Submit, make sure that if you want, you can click Allow this preview submission to be available in the Dropbox folder. If that's checked, that will allow you to see this uh, submission to make sure that it was submitted correctly. Go ahead and click Submit. And go ahead and click Exit Preview. Now in order to see if this was submitted and see the preview of the submission, click on the name of the Dropbox folder. In the Submissions drop-down list, click on that. Click on Users with Preview. Click the Search icon. This should filter so you can see any submissions that you've done as an instructor, but you'll notice the little I next to this, meaning that this submission is a preview and you can't assign a score or activity to it. So it's just to show you that it is in, it is in use. And then if you want to click on it, this should show you the file and it's not going to show you because it's in a preview mode and then you're not going to be able to put any score in but at least you know that it's been submitted. Go ahead and click on back to the folder submission and then go back to the folders list click on the folder list in the breadcrumb links.